Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's webinar hosted by the Retirement Advantage. Today, we will be reviewing integration processes and systems to maximize the value we deliver to you. My name is Bill Sonegal. I'm the Marketing and Communication Director for the Retirement Advantage. Today's panelists are Carrie Bernier, she's our Integration Leader, Linda Springer, our Accounting Manager, and Sharon Dykema, the Administrator. Before I go any further, I just wanted to review some of the functionality of GoToWebinar. Your active participation is very important throughout this session. Right now, everyone is on mute just to avoid any background noises that may distract you from listening to the webinar. You do, however, have the ability to submit your questions using the chat or questions pane located near the bottom of the control panel on the right-hand side of your screen. You can answer your questions and comments in either of the boxes throughout the presentation, and your questions will be answered at the end of the webinar during the Q&A session. I would now like to turn over the mic to Carrie. Thank you, Bill, and good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to just start off by thanking everyone for joining us today. We really appreciate your time. This afternoon, we'd like to share with you some background on who we, TRA, are, what some changes you can expect to see are, and then at the end of the webinar, a quick review of TRA's plan sponsor website. To give you a brief overview of who TRA is, uh, we recently celebrated our 20th anniversary. TRA started doing administration back in 1996, and over these last 20 years, TRA has continued to grow uh, to the leading third-party administration firm we are today. We continue to focus on defined contribution plans, uh, providing front-to-back consulting and administration services. The plans we service uh, vary in size, but on average, each plan has around 54 participants. TRA is a nationwide TPA. We have individuals located across the country, um, and we have actual locations in Appleton, Wisconsin, our headquarters in Port Washington, Wisconsin, and an office in Woodbridge, Virginia. As a larger organization, we do focus on efficiencies, and by doing so, we are highly departmentalized. This slide shows uh, uh, the different departments that make up TRA, but I wanted to touch on just a few. You will soon be hearing from our accounting department manager, Linda Springer, but as you may have guessed, our accounting department handles all of our invoicing and receiving of payments. Questions on invoices can still be directed back to either Sharon or Teresa, but for payment on an invoice or to request billing information, you may speak directly with our accounting team. You will also soon begin to recognize our processing department. Our dedicated processing department handles all of our transactional type items, deposits, loans, distributions, things of that nature will soon all flow through our processing team. This really allows our plan administration department to focus on keeping your plan in compliance and assisting you with any plan questions. Our plan administration department is one that you are likely to become the most familiar with or may already be due to your relationship with Sharon and or Teresa. This team of employees are the individuals that you will be working with on a day-to-day -day basis and also the team that will be completing your annual compliance testing. We're here to help, so any questions will still go to the individual you work with on a day-to-day -day basis. Speaking of Sharon, I will now turn it over to her to provide a little more information on TRA and the transition of your plan. Thanks, Carrie. Since the acquisition of RPI by TRA, we just wanted to assure all of you that we will continue, that you will continue to receive the same quality, commitment, and dedication as you had in the past from both Teresa and I. A couple of things will change, though. Our name and logo will now be TRA. Also, Teresa and my contact information is changing to what is listed below. These changes will be sent to you after the webcast. TRA provides the same quality service as you have come to know with RPI. They are committed to delivering personalized retirement solutions for you to help you achieve your financial goals. As an industry-leading retirement plan solutions provider, TRA will assist you in meeting your unique plan design goals while building on the reputation for proactive plan consultation and exceptional customer service. At this point, I'll turn the program over to Linda Springer, TRA's accounting manager. 
Good afternoon. As Sharon said, my name is Linda Springer, and I am the accounting manager at TRA. With any change of this type, it's only natural that some of the first questions you may have are around the areas of fees and billing. And so I'll be answering those questions for you today. One of the first questions that you may have is, will my annual administrative fees change? And the answer is no. You will pay TRA the same amount for your 2017 annual administrative fees that you paid to RPI for your 2016 work. We like to take this first year that you're with us to get to know you and your plan better before we determine if any fee changes would be appropriate. TRA does review its fee schedules every two to three years so you'll be put into that review cycle going forward after 2017. And we always provide a minimum 60 days written notice to you before we make any changes to your fees. Although the bottom line amount that you pay to TRA will be the same, the format of your fee schedule will change somewhat to fit TRA's billing system. And you will receive an individualized explanation of this in the near future. Also, although your fees will remain the same, the frequency which you receive invoices will change. Unlike RPI's practice to bill annually upon completion of the annual work, TRA's standard practice is to bill for services on a quarterly basis, and we will be transitioning you to our standard quarterly billing cycles. The exact timing will depend on your plan's year, year end but I will provide an example for plans with a December 31st year end in just a few minutes. You can expect to receive your invoices in your email box as TRA does send invoices electronically via email. And in the near future, you will receive a plan service agreement from TRA that we will ask you to execute and return to us. This document will also include your fee schedule. Next, I'd like to show you an example of how the timing of TRA's invoices will work for plans with a December 31st year end. As I said before, our practice is to bill quarterly throughout the plan year rather than waiting until the work is completed after the end of the year. We feel that this provides the benefit to you of spreading out your fees throughout the year so that you're able to better budget for them. For those plans where the fees are paid either fully or partially by a subsidy from your investment provider, it also helps us more closely align the receipt of those monies with the period that they apply to. There will be a transition period to make this change, and we'll be modifying the timing for this first year to make that transition a little easier for you. What this means, practically speaking, is that if you had been with TRA from the beginning of calendar 2017, you would have already been invoiced for the first two quarters of this year, with the third quarter being billed in September and the fourth quarter in December. To catch you up, rather than bill you for three quarters all at once in September, we're only going to bill you for the first two quarters, and then in December we will bill you for the last two quarters of 2017. After that, you will be on track at the beginning of 2018 for your 2018 fees to be billed quarterly as shown in March, June, September, and December. Upon completion of your 2017 work, whether that happens in March, April, June, or whenever it is in 2018, there will be a final true-up billing if it's necessary to adjust for changes in your participant count from what it actually was to what you were billed, or to add any other billable services you incurred that weren't previously invoiced. The timing of the billing will be adjusted similarly for plans with year ends other than December 31st, and your client relationship manager will be available to explain it to you, as well as answer any other fee-related questions that you may have. Next, I would like to talk about the different options that TRA offers for you to pay your invoices and manage your TRA account. Of course, if you'd prefer not to have to think about paying your invoice, 
we can set you up for automatic ACH. With this option, you would complete an authorization form and once that's in place, we would initiate an ACH withdrawal from the bank account that you designate approximately 10 days after the date of your invoice. This still gives you time to review your invoice and clear up any questions that you might have prior to that payment being made. If you'd like to set up automatic ACH, please email the accounting team and we'll send the authorization form to you. Another option that we accept is credit cards. To pay by credit card, you may call TRA's toll-free number at 888-872-2364 and you'll be directed to a member of the accounting team who can take your information over the phone. Uh, and of course, you can always make your payment via a check which you would mail along with the remittance portion from the invoice to our lockbox address for payments as you see on the screen and it's also on the remittance portion of your invoice. Please note that this address is for invoice payments only. Do not send any plan contributions or other correspondence to this address. Finally, one service enhancement that TRA is pleased to offer you is our online payment system, which we call My Account Link, that you can use to view your TRA account history, your open invoices, and pay any open invoices via either a credit or a debit card or by authorizing a one-time ACH withdrawal from your bank account. You see on this screen a snapshot of what the home page looks like when you're logged into My Account Link. I want to emphasize though that use of My Account Link is totally optional. You're not required to create an account and you don't need to do so if you don't find it to be the most efficient option for you. However, I did want to make you aware that it, it is an option that we offer. And on the next couple of slides, I'll give you a brief overview of how My Account Link works so that you can decide up front if this is an option you would find beneficial. To set up your access for My Account Link, you can either open up a web browser and enter billpay.tra401k.com into the URL bar, or you can access it directly from TRA's website, tra401k.com under the login drop-down at the top of our home page where you'd click on the My Account Link login button. From there, you'll be brought to the welcome login screen where you'll click on the Create an Account Link under the login box and then follow the instructions to set up your access. To do this, you'll need to know two pieces of information. One is your six-character TRA account number and the second is your billing address zip code. So you will want to wait until you receive your first invoice before you set up your login for My Account Link because your invoice will give you your account number and of course your billing address zip code. As mentioned before, once you're logged in, you'll be presented with different options. You will be able to see a snapshot of your invoice history with TRA and whether you have a balance due. You can also view the details of a particular invoice, and you can make a payment on any open invoice via credit or debit card or by an ACH withdrawal from your checking account. If at any time you decide that you would like to set up a login for My Account Link, your client relationship manager or anyone on the accounting team will be happy to assist you with setting that up. Finally, I just want to mention that our accounting team at TRA is always eager to take your emails or phone calls to answer any questions you might have regarding your invoices or how to make payments. At this time, I will turn the presentation back over to Carrie. Great. Thank you, Linda. To wrap up our presentation, I'd like to walk through TRA's sponsor website, Plan Sponsor Link. This website houses a lot of our plan information as well as serves as a secure communication portal. All of your document-related items are easily accessible, such as your plan document, opinion letter, disclosures, and your service agreement with TRA, as Linda previously mentioned. We'll start by learning how to first log into and register for the portal. 
You may access the plan sponsor link portal by going to TRA's homepage, tra401k.com, and underneath the blue login, selecting plan sponsor link login. As a first time user, you will need to register for the site. This is easily done by clicking on the first time user link. Enter your email address we have on file for you, and then click submit. The system will generate a temporary password and send to the email address you indicated. This temporary password can be changed to a password of your choice once you access the portal. If you receive an error when attempting to register, it typically means that the email address you entered doesn't match what TRA has documented in our database. Um, if that occurs, please contact either Sharon or Teresa to confirm the address we do have on file. Next, we'll use our password to access the portal. Once you have your password, you can now access the plan sponsor link portal. You would enter your username, which is your email, and then enter your temporary password as email to you. Um, just one quick note, if you're a returning user, you would just normally enter your username and password that you've previously set up to access the portal. If at any time you did forget your password, you can easily request a new temporary password by clicking the forgot password link. Similar to your initial registration, just enter your email address and click Submit. A new temporary password will be emailed to you shortly. And then as indicated previously, you are welcome to customize your password once you access the portal. All right, well, let's access the portal now. Upon accessing the portal, you will always see your active tasks first. This list will contain items posted by TRA, but not yet opened by you, the plan sponsor. Items will be removed from your active task list once you click download. Some clients sponsor more than one plan, and if that's the case for you, both plans will show on your active task list, uh, but a blue bold line will separate the plans and identify which plan the task item belongs to. I want to focus on one tab this afternoon, which is the document tab. This is where you will soon find a copy of your plan service agreement which will need to be signed and returned. Due to the acquisition of RPI by TRA, it becomes necessary to create new service agreements with TRA. As Linda mentioned earlier, your bottom line fees have not changed, but there will be a copy of your TRA fee schedule included. To open any file posted, just click on the blue download button. You are then welcome to print or save as necessary. These files do not go away after clicking the download button. They will remain here until TRA, TRA removes or replaces with an updated file. You will notice that there are other tabs available on the Plan Sponsor Link website. While we continue to roll out service enhancements, we will be hosting additional education webinars to review these features. With that, um, it concludes today's Welcome to TRA webcast. Again, thank you for your time this afternoon. I will now turn it over to Bill to wrap it up. Thank you, Carrie. Uh, we're now going to go through a couple of questions that have been coming through the chat and questions pane. Uh, first question for you. Am I still working with Sharon or Teresa? The answer is yes. Um, Sharon and Teresa will continue to be your main contact for the immediate future. Um, if anything would change with that, you would receive communication from us, but they will continue to be your day-to-day -day contact at the time. Thank you. Next question, will you still have a Grand Rapids location? Yes, good question. Um, Yes, Sharon and Teresa will be, uh, you know, transitioning from their current office into home offices, but they will still be located in the Grand Rapids area. Thank you. Next question. What if I can't reach Sharon or Teresa and have an urgent question? Great question. So uh, with us, uh, TRA, being highly departmentalized, we do have a fully staffed client relationship management team that is able to handle any and all plan related questions. If you aren't able to reach Sharon or Teresa and you have an urgent question, 
you may contact our main office line at 888-872-2364 and ask to speak with a client relationship manager. Thank you, Carrie. Next question. What if I lose or lock up my password for the plan sponsor link website? Very timely question. Um, if for whatever reason, if you lose or lock up your password and you need to reset, remember that you may always use the forgot password link on the bottom of the login screen. Um, as shown, it will generate a temporary password for you. And as a reminder, your username will always be the email address you have on file with us. Thank you. Uh, next question, when can I expect my first invoice from TRA? I can handle that question. This is Linda. Our plan right now is to send out the first batch of invoices right um, sometime during the last week of September. I don't have an exact date yet, but certainly by the end of September. And this would be mostly for plans with a December 31st year end. And for plans that have a different plan year end, the cycle is a little bit different. So you might not receive your first invoice in September, but maybe October or, no or November. But for most of you, you can't expect to see it by the end of September. Thank you, Linda. Uh, next question. Uh, this may be a little off topic. If so, I can ask it later. What support do you offer for IRS audit? I can take that one. This is Carrie. Um, support for IRS audits, it really depends on what is being requested. Uh, we do offer audit support, and the same service that you are receiving from RPI is what you can expect to receive with PRA. Um, so from gathering record requests, um, distribution form copies, things of that nature, um, we are fully uh, prepared to assist with any sort of IRS audit or annual plan administration audit as well. Thank you. And it doesn't look like we have any more questions at this time. Uh, we'll wait a couple minutes. Someone had just asked if we would send the presentation. Yes, um, once this webinar concludes, I'll be able to download the webinar and send a link that will include um, the recorded webinar as well as the presentation deck. Okay, it doesn't look like we have any other questions coming at, in at this time. Um, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up with this webinar session. Uh, if you'd like to continue the conversation, um, you can contact Sharon at, as you have in the past. And as I mentioned before, um, I will be sending a link to everybody with the recorded webinar as well as a PDF of the presentation deck. Again, we appreciate your time and participation. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day.